This week on Motor Car History, we take a look at the Opel Mantore. The Opel Mantore was built in the 70s from 1970 to 1975. The body shape was low with a long hood and a short tail. It gives the Mantore a sporty look. The car thus followed the sports car trend of the 1960s. The individual shape stood out from other vehicles from the time. The Mantore had a monocoque steel body with impact compliant front and rear ends. All versions were built as a five-seater, two-door coupe. Engine sizes came originally as a 1.2 litre, then a 1.6 litre with 60 horsepower, and the larger 1.9 litre. This came as standard with 88 to 90 horsepower. Gearbox choices included both manual and automatic transmissions. From September 1970, the Manta was available in versions such as the Manta L, the Manta SR, and many other versions later available. Manta L stood for luxury, trim included, chrome fascias, glove box, engine compartment, and trunk lights, pivoting rear windows, wheel trim rings, an electric clock, various dashboard lights an ashtray, cigarette lighter and rear safety mirror. The front wheels were individually suspended on wishbones on an equal length of coil springs, telescopic shop absorbers and a torsion bar stabiliser. The rear axle was a rigid type with coil springs and a pan rod train arm. From October 1970 to July 1975, the Manta Ray was also sold in the USA under the name Opel 1900 and Opel 1900 Sport Coupe later named as the Opel Manta from 1973. The range included basic models called the Sports Coupe and the Rally as a sports variant. Another special Manta Ray was the Manta Ray TE 2800 with a 2.8 litre Commodore carburetted engine. Only approximately 80 were built. It was necessary to make adjustments to the bodywork to fit the larger engine into the front. This gave a performance of 142 brake horsepower. The Manta SR was the more sporty version. It differs from the other versions by wider wheels, a matte black hood and black side stripes. A Manta GTE was also available. This came in March 1974. The Turbo Manta from an English Opel dealer in the time, but developed the Turbo Manta, which was sent in 1974. Only 28 examples were built. Total production of the Manta Ray almost half a million. 